I have been receiving some messages from parents on LinkedIn and they are asking me if I can teach their kids AI and data science. I'm also noticing this trend where some e-learning companies, they try to misuse the fear that parents have in their brains regarding their kids' future and they try to sell something. I have an important advice to share here on how you should prepare your kid for AI and data science future. And look, I have worked with some big tech companies like Bloomberg and Nvidia, more than 17 years of experience. I have interviewed hundreds of people. I have mentored so many uh, people in the companies that I work for. And also in my own company, I founded this company called Atlic Technologies, which is a data and IT solutions company. And I regularly mentor folks. So I know how you can become successful in IT or data career and maybe you can use some of my advice here. Let me tell you how I prepared myself for data science career when I was, I was a kid. You know what I did? I did nothing. I grew up in a village. I roamed around in the streets of my village. I climbed trees in, in my farm. I was just enjoying my childhood. Childhood is very precious. That is a time period when the brain is evolving. So giving that freedom you know, where you can do whatever you want. You know, you can go run, run around with your friends. So that kind of freedom is very, very essential. Uh, and as a parent, if you want to help your child, of course, because the child needs help, right? It's like a baby plant, it's growing. As a parent, you need to give enough water, fertile land, sunshine, so that you provide an environment where that plant can really blossom what you can do is help your child find their ikigai now i have talked about ikigai it's a famous book it's it's a very well known concept where you want to prepare your child such that they build a career uh, such that they are doing what they like they are doing what they are good at and then you know whatever world needs and whatever world can pay for uh, maybe you have to prepare your child in that manner. So remember the principle of Ikigai, don't turn your children into robots because there are so many IT jobs out there, AI jobs, AI jobs pay so much money. For that reason, you want to force your child to learn Python programming or machine learning. You should not do that because now we live in a open society where there are there are opportunities on all the fronts. Maybe your child is not the person who wants to sit on a computer. For example, my wife, she cannot sit on computer for more than one hour. She is in a medical domain. She is a respiratory care therapist. Uh, so, you know, there are some personalities. For example, my brother, he's a salesperson. Although he's a computer engineer by degree, he's a salesperson. He can't sit on computer. He can't do coding. He wants to just go out, meet five new people every day. That is his personality. So give an environment to a children where their true potential can come out. Maybe enroll them in different classes. Nowadays I'm seeing this trend, right? Where your children is doing piano class, swimming class, this class, that class. Again, you don't overdo it because that can pressurize them but give them an opportunity to experiment few things. They're doing swimming, they're doing singing, they're doing uh, maybe uh, creative writing. And then as they experience those different activities, they themselves will be able to figure out where they want to go. And as a, as a parent, of course, you are with them. So you are constantly observing and you are kind of helping them, but you don't force your ideas on them. That's, that's, the, that's the main thing that we need to remember here. Let them grow as per their own choice, freedom, you know, willingness, because everyone is different. You are in IT doesn't mean your children have to be in IT. They can be a good singer or they can be a good painter or even a stand-up comedian. I, I see so many engineers turning into stand-up comedians nowadays. So basically, um, give them the environment where they're experimenting few things you help them figure out what is the right passion that they have 
what is the thing that that they are good at maybe they are let's say doing singing and everyone is appreciating and you see that pattern correct you see that pattern for some time period now you know that your child is good in singing so maybe they should become a singer so that is step number 1 which is helping child find their ikigai the second step is once you figure out their inner skills and their liking some children they are analytical they like math they are good in logic okay and if that is the case then maybe it and data science is a right career now let's say your i'm seeing some trend here where in 8th and 9th grade um you know children uh, ask their parents to start learning python python is still okay but even machine learning the child doesn't know linear algebra and you want to teach them supervised machine learning that is stupidity math is a fundamental of machine learning in data science and math is part of their curriculum right where whether they are in 8th grade 9th grade right from the first grade there is math all the way so ask them to focus on math rather than learning tensor flow and scikit learn and all of that fancy tools those tools will keep on changing the math the fundamental skills will not change they will remain the same okay so instead of teaching them fancy frameworks focus on fundamentals which is math which is part of their curriculum so you don't need to do anything extra step number 3 would be focus on core skills i always talk about core skills versus tool skills when it come to data science career data analyst career even it career or any career nowadays core skills are very important core skills are basically soft skills analytical thinking business understanding communication how to improve communication well if the children is not going out and playing with their friends how are they going to learn communication tell me you have enroll your child into some e learning institute course they are in front of computer all the time there is no way they can improve uh, their communication they need to go out talk to friends maybe participate in some speaking competition you know and in debates things like that sports is very important when the child is playing sport they are learning all this essential skills which will help them become successful when they go in the industry when you are in the industry let's say you are working and you are in the meeting you are in a in a meeting with the 10 different people who have higher power than you that is the game of ego ego management expectation management now the same skills you can learn while playing sports you are playing cricket you are with 11 players you need to do team coordination you need to do ego management let's say if, especially if you are a captain so all these skills uh, for example aggressiveness right strategy building these skills you can learn by playing sports so for a child it is extremely crucial that they spend enough time in outdoor sports especially not the video games outdoor sports going out playing in open ground taking sunshine is very very important okay so if you want your ch- that your child becomes a data scientist or machine learning engineer ask them to focus on sports all the outdoor activities because those will build the core skills which are very essential in order to become successful in ai or it career because now we are seeing this trend where in it and even some of the data science roles you are using sql and tensor flow ready made apis you know you are writing five line of code your naive base classifier is ready correct so at that point what matters is can you communicate well with your stakeholders can you um build a good relationship with them uh, the element of empathy is very important if your children has not played sports and done outdoor activities 
how can they build empathy empathy is like understanding other person's perspective if the children is if the, if your child is going let's say 9 to 3 they are going to school 3 to 3 to 7 they are just doing different classes okay on on computer and then they eat and they watch tv and sleep now how are they going to build empathy if they are not having human interaction so it is my sincere request that leave your child aside make them enjoy the childhood the childhood is very precious even though you are a parent you do not have any right to take away their precious childhood so do not pressurize them do not worry about ai and data science career un- at least until 10th or 12th grade if you are worried ask them to focus on math and the core skills i hope you get my message and if you have any questions there is a comment box below